the, the final thing we look uh, we look at is the ordered class and how it is different from the critical block and critical block now if you look at this result uh, if i run this result over here especially for this do loop if you look at it the do loop executes half a, in a half hazard manner the do loop executes in a half hazard manner from uh, prints out in one to uh, like this on the other hand what if i want the threads to be, uh, i what if i want the results to be in an ordered manner and the execution should be in an ordered manner despite it should be parallel at the same time the execution should be in a, uh, you know in an ordered manner okay by preserving the thread order okay that's that's what i'm going to do that's that's the use of ordered so what happens is that like, if i suppose if i have a critical block let's say Suppose if we have a critical block, let's say, what critical block does is that it makes sure that threads behave serially inside a parallel regime. Okay, that's what we saw. Uh, if you want, uh, so if you want to, if you want the codes to be executed one thread after the other, okay, one line after the other with uh, with after one thread after the other thread, some kind of a queue inside a parallel block, then you need critical block. So the, the one fundamental uh, not thing the, the, the uh, thing about critical block is that it makes instructions run serial inside parallel regime and it does not preserve the thread order. It need not preserve the thread order. Sometimes it preserves the thread order and you might get uh, the order. It, it might work out in the same order like one two zero one two three four like that. Some but most of the cases the thread order is not preserved. Okay, in critical block. So if I so what I do is that uh, let me activate this OMP parallel do with last private and then I run these statements in the, with the critical block. Okay, and now let me run this ever several times. If you look at it, if you look at it, the uh, the threads are in uh, the threads are in random order. They behaved. They are executed one after the other. The ex comments are executed one after the other and everything. But the thread, but the threads are in random order, like one instruction by one stuff and something like that. But anyway, the thread, I mean, uh, the thread order is entirely different. The thread order is entirely different. So if I do this again, so if I do this multiple times, uh, usually they go one after the other without uh, without avoiding uh, by avoiding race conditions. If I use critical block, the the race conditions are kind of avoided, so it's not a thing. Now. What if I want the thread order to be maintained during this process? And that's where the order class goes in. For that, what I need to do is as follows. I need to include this uh, class called as ordered over here. And to make sure that the order, orders work, I have to write this directive called as OMP ordered. And this, what, it do, what this does is that it executes the statement just like the critical block, but it maintains the thread order. So now let me clear this up. Clear this up and I run this. If you look at it, the thread order is proper, immacul immaculately proper. And no matter how many times I run, the thread order is the same. On the other hand, if I were to, if I were to uh, remove, if I were to remove the thread order and write critical, critical just to give you guys an idea what's happening if i do this again you see the thread order is jumbled up although the execute statements are executed one thread after the other these statements are jumbled up the statements are jumbled up and uh, the thre because the threads are being jumbled okay now here's the thing here's the thing suppose uh suppose i run uh, this statement I run this statement uh, OMP parallel to last private uh, without the ordered without the ordered keyword let's say without the ordered keyword let's say and uh, without without the ordered keyword without the ordered keyword let's say uh, one might anticipate that this block will behave in an orderly manner okay the fact is it doesn't it'll throw an error it says that or uh, it says it uh, uh, it says that ordered region must be closely nested inside a loop inside a loop region with an ordered class what it means is that if suppose if you want to use this ordered class i mean if you want to use the ordered directive there um, there should be a parallel regime 
parallel parallel region with ordered class on the top so if i remove the ordered class and if you just want to use the ordered directive it won't work so if i if if i write this ordered class ordered keyword again i mean the class again and then i run it it works fine okay so that's one thing on the other hand critical block as you guys know as you guys must have noticed okay critical block is independent ordered the order I mean the critical directive is independent whereas the ordered directive needs the order class to be working fine so those are the summaries we noticed critical block makes sure makes the instructions run serially inside a parallel regime need not preserve the thread order whereas order class order okay order block order block uh makes instructions run serially inside a parallel regime preserves a thread order executed by having a thread order directive by an order directive uh, uh and uh, and finally uh needs an order class order class okay executed by having an order directive okay and this one this one uh executed by having a critical directive okay okay now with that uh, this pro with that this exp uh, this tutorial is over and uh, this tutorial is over and we discussed about the private class first private class last private class critical block and order block in quite quite in quite details uh, in the next few to next tutorials we'll be concentrating on some more uh, classes and some more interesting concepts that that are available in openmp okay uh, thank you until then thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time